what's up? Yeah, so obviously we're not starting this out in my room. Just felt like it wasn't fitting. You know how you watch like reality TV shows and the season finale is like in some different tropical destination like The Bachelor? Well, this is no tropical destination. This is the Davenport North running track. I'm always told like your last one is your best one. That was just a saying that was always said to me when I ran track in high school. Your last set is your best set. I'm sorry if that does not ring true for this vlog. Yeah, I figured it'd be uh, kind of fitting. I, I just did a workout out here, not as fast as I used to be. And the only way to get faster is through speed workouts. So that's what I've been doing. Pretty cold out right here right now. My hands are most definitely white and numb. Hashtag Renauds, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you guys for joining me through all of this. I never thought this would pick up as much Traction, pun not intended, as it did, but it really, yesterday, guys, we made WQAD News 8 at 10. Yeah, it's just, it's hard to believe, and I was kind of talking about this with Yang on yesterday's news story, that this came out of nowhere. I felt completely fine the Tuesday before I woke up sick. I was at work, and I felt a little off. I was just, I was just blaming the weather though, because it was just warmer than usual. I woke up Wednesday and I, you knew something was off then. You just, some people have said with who've had COVID, it hits you like a ton of bricks. It hit me like a ton of bricks on Wednesday. That was the first time I ever called in sick to work. That's much better. Jesus, why didn't I do this before? I mean, it could be the smallest symptom. You could not have any symptoms and you could have it. My third day in isolation. I was listening to a podcast. It's called On Purpose and it's just great. This is how I live my life. It's a podcast by Jay Shetty who used to be a monk. He said during this time while you're in isolation, try and find something that's your calling. And I was like, what the? I, I'm not gonna find anything. I'm gonna sit here watch Netflix and read books. Like that's just how it's going to be. Like, hey, we started this so I found something. Yeah, and he also kept stressing that this isn't isolation. This is solitude. You kind of have to be your own best friend through this. I've left every single day doing these vlogs just at myself. Yesterday was just a great day. You ever wake up and you're like, this is gonna be a good, it's a good day. It was just nice out. I treated myself to some Starbs. I sang a song in a park just for you all. I thought I'd be by myself this whole time during my workout on this track. And then this guy came back. He's like, oh, I just finished the night shift and I'm here for my run. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah. He's like, I'm just gonna do a mile. And I was like, yeah, good for you. Um, he was like, oh, how are you doing? And I was like, ah, I'm just kind of getting off of being sick and so did you have it and i was like I don't, I don't really know he just started backing away i don't know if i should tell people i feel like i'd rather know than not know yeah i've never seen a guy run so fast i've never seen a guy do a mile so fast in my life he was out of there didn't even say bye <laughs> and i was sitting right there <laughs> that was just scary people okay so here i am trying to treat myself these days and i try to go to starbucks and it's not opened. I thought the drive-thru would at least be open. I mean, it makes sense. I think there's just like a select few that are open. Now I gotta go find it. Oh, this is stupid. Our store is temporarily closed. Please accept our apology. Where's, where am I supposed to go? Okay, well, I'll drive past the one down the block because you know there's the Starbucks every two seconds. Also, sorry, my face looks terrible today, but you know what? You've seen me at my worst at this point. You know, you get to see me for who I truly am. Non-perfect skin human being. Who has perfect skin these days anyways? Okay, you know it's open? The golf course. Yeah, a bunch of foursomes out there. Okay, have no fear. The one that's attached to the high V is opened. Has anyone had the golden ginger drink at Starbucks? I want to try it. But sometimes I'm so scared to like try new things at Starbucks. Like I have my go-to. Why, why, why would I try something new? Have a grande almond milk honey flat white, please. I think I buy the most expensive drink Starbucks has to offer these days. All right, just talked to the most cheerful Starbucks employee. Honey, she's like, we are cultivating your drink for you right now because I had to wait extra long for it. And I was like, oh my God, totally fine. She was like, it's just going to make your drink that much better if I use like bigger words. So yeah, we're handcrafting, cultivating, Cultivating. We have our own farm of almonds. <laughs> you know what? This better be the best $6 drink I've ever had. These days, I don't even care what I spend money on. <sighs> First sip feeling. Hey guys, it is Monday afternoon, 3.42 p.m. It's a beautiful day, but I got a call from our very own Yang Wen. She was like, want to be my story for today? And I was like, well, I'm not doing much else. So, sure. <laughs> a news story and on WQAD News 8 at 10 tonight talking about my symptoms. So I had to put makeup on. I think I forgot how to put on makeup to be aged. I'm even wearing necklaces for this. I wasn't even gonna wear makeup, but I texted my mom because again, I can't make decisions by myself. And I was like, should I wear makeup? And she's like, uh, yeah, you're gonna be on the news. And I was like, I'm almost out of foundation. If you guys know an easier way to do this, please let me know because this gets annoying. 
Sorry, this just takes five million years. My interview is at four o'clock. This is so weird being on the other side. I never thought I'd see this day come. My boss is like, can you please um, make news and not be the news? And I was like, I'm sorry, my body decided to revolt against me. Come on, Yang, can you hear me put on makeup? I literally have no idea how to put on makeup. Like I just, they give me a couple products and I try. So the story's about like, I guess my symptoms and being in quarantine. I mean, I wish I actually had a test to prove like, oh yeah, I truly have it, but I don't. 347, I always wait till the last second too. I'm like, and now I'll put on makeup. Yang called me and she was like, how, um, who's been editing your vlogs for you? And I was like, me, myself, and I, I spend five hours on those every day for you all. <laughs> Highlighting stuff. I don't, even, I don't even ultra highlight. I think it's called. I don't think it does anything. But I've had a ton of friends comment like, "Oh my god, Marissa, your highlighter looks so good." And I'm like, oh, "Thank you. That means the world." Because I have no idea what this stuff does. I just put it on. Glad I'm doing something right in this world. This is it for today. Guess I'll brush my hair for them all. Okay, I'm, re I'm ready for my close up. <laughs> well, I'm wearing jeans because. I already had jeans on today, but I feel like I haven't worn jeans in a while. And a white shirt that I spilled my lunch on. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna watch Yang's story together. It was really great, it was really great. I just think it's funny like looking back on my own life. So we're gonna watch it together, ready? In case you guys missed it. One of our reporters has been under quarantine. You all ready for this? symptoms of the virus a number of days ago. News age Yang Wen checked in with her on day 13 of the quarantine. It's new tonight at 10. You look great. The good news is our Marissa Sulek is feeling much better. If you've been following her vlogs, welcome to the waiting room. Again. She got suspicious symptoms nearly two weeks ago. That Wednesday I woke up and I had aches all over my body. I go from hot to cold. Um, and I, I had a fever that would just like spike up for short, short periods of time. WQAD isolated two reporters that day. <laughs> this is so funny, my beef stew. <laughs> Fourth day in, I lost my sense of taste and smell. And she's learning about herself. During this time, you kind of have to become like your own best friend when you're in isolation. And you can follow Marissa's uh, vlog, as they're called. It's called In the Waiting Room. <laughs> the scariest thing really was, she said, those fevers, as well as the loss of taste and smell. Very odd indeed. She will have one final post tomorrow. Marissa will be back to work reporting remotely for us on Thursday. We're glad she's feeling so much better. We went viral, y'all. We went viral. That's some real stuff right there. So I'm here on a park bench in Vanderveer Park, which is like the central park of Davenport. I saw Yo-Yo Man. Like this is the smallest world ever. Oh my gosh. This next segment, AKA the first time, probably last time, this will ever be a segment called sitting on a park bench, singing a song. This is for all the good times you've had these 14 days. And so I decided to encompass it. Big word. All in a song for you all. It is to circles by the one and only Post Malone. Not gonna rap for you and don't judge my, my singing. As I've already told you before, I'm not a singer. I would have done something like that with my life then. Last time I sang was chorus in um, sixth grade. Woke up, turn around. My body ached up and down. COVID, this ain't the time now. I need to be the sound. I called into work, said I don't feel alive. Boss told me to leave it. I don't do this every time. COVID came and my body went cold. 14 days I had to let go. Started vlogging cause I need a schedule. Isolate, isolate, I need to, to do something while waiting to work again. I know this is lame. Run away every day is a circle. Isolate, 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 let go. My taste buds decided it's time to let go. I said no. My meals were doomed from the get go. I didn't realize they were so special, special, but it was just a week though. Just a week though. Now I can taste avocados, avocados. I got a feeling they didn't wanna go. Wanna go. So that is the one and only time you will have this segment called Marissa Sings a Bench Bar. I've already messed up the segment that so many times this is gonna happen, but yeah. 
Okay, if you're looking for something to do, it's gonna be April 1st tomorrow. Redo your calendar, which is something I have not done since um, July. So it's been like 10 months. This is gonna be everyone's calendar in April. That's it. That's your calendar. That's, oh wait, you know what? Wait, we'll, we'll, there we go. We have Tom Sulek's birthday coming up on April 18th. So we can all put that on our calendar. This is the COVID pandemic that wipes out everything. Yeah, April, can't wait. Can't wait, April. This is gonna be an exciting month. Thrilling. People have noticed I'm actually missing from WQD, which one of my friends from high school, Nicole, her grandparents live in Moline, and they messaged her the other day saying that they noticed that I was missing. <laughs> I also got a text from the mayor of Rock Island, Mayor Tomes, and the sheriff of Whiteside County, Sheriff Booker. They're like, are you okay? Are you alive? And I was like, I'm good, I'm alive. I my low, okay. Oh, here's my dinner from last night. Looks like I threw up on my plate. Looked at it and I was like, that's really not appetizing. They were vegan animal style fries or whatever you get it in and out. It tasted good, but huge thank you guys for watching this. And I actually feel like I've gotten closer to people if that's such a thing through this. I feel closer to viewers. I feel closer to friends. I feel closer to friends that I've been even friends with forever. This is the last, the waiting room. But who knows, we'll see where this journey takes me. We'll just see. Back on WQ80 on Thursday. I'm going back to normal eventually. This whole world will go back to normal. All right, take care guys. Have a good one.